the WSIB basically is rebating millions of dollars to employers who have killed workers and in some cases seriously maimed workers. Um, these rebates take place on the NATO system called experience rating. Uh, these programs are intended to promote better health and safety practices by employers, um, but in actual fact there is no uh, empirical evidence that in fact these experience rating programs actually work. We looked at data for employers convicted of serious offenses in 2011 through 2013. 78 of these employers got rebates from the WSIB in the same year that they committed their offense, totaling almost $15 million. 69 employers got rebates in the same year as they were convicted, amounting to more than $11 million. You know, I guess give you one example here that really uh, galls us to no end. It's the Gold Corp. It's the world's biggest uh, gold company with a market value of $3.5 billion. In 2011, an employee was killed. In 2012, Gold Corp was fined a measly $350,000. And in 2013, they received a rebate from WSIB of $2.7 million. That's seven times the amount of the fine. And one of the biggest problems with experience rating is that employers can manipulate their claims costs through claim suppression, hiding or discouraging claims, or claims management when employers take aggressive, litigious approach to injured workers' claims. Now, if any further proof of experience ratings failings are necessary, this report provides it. Every December, I attend probably one of the most heartbreaking demonstrations that you'll ever attend is outside of the Ministry of Labour on 400 University Avenue. And it's every December, and these are injured workers who are living below the poverty line because they were involved in an accident through no fault of their own. This is a no-fault system. And they have yet to receive even the rate of inflation uh, of an increase over the last dozen years or so. They've been living below the poverty line, so we need to see some big changes scrap this system, get rid of that CEO, and at the same time, reinvest this money in health and safety programs in the workplace, and at the same time, make sure that these workers who've been injured receive decent increases um, in their benefits and that their families of those workers who've been killed are compensated appropriately.